Okay, um, hey guys, this is part three of how I build my models. Um, this is going to be hand brushing parts. Um, what I usually do, I used to use these, but then I started spilling paint by accident. You know, stuff happens. So, uh, for kits that you would want to build box stock, you probably want to go with um, what these, like what the colors are on these uh, parts up here on your um, manual, I guess you could call it. Sorry, guys. Um, yeah, but you know, custom's always good. This one I'm gonna build box stock because I just want it to look, you know. Uh, like a like the real NASCAR truck. So half of the stuff I have to paint, um, like gray. That's gonna be primer gray. Oh, sorry guys. Uh, all this uh light ghost gray will be primer because um these testers, these little tester paints, there's not a lot in them. But that's how I painted my first one. So um. I'm going to go ahead and paint the engine for y'all right here and then I'm going to tune out and uh, come back in when everything's painted and I'll show you. Um, yep, just, alright, cool. The way I do it, at Box Buyer, there's your Pontiac Firebird right there. Um, so let me find the motor. Yeah, see, I missed some spots. I haven't gone through all of them yet since the beginning. Uh, just been busy. Had a lot of homework tonight and all that stuff. I had to get that done first. So, I want to find the engine. There's the engine right there. Um, what I usually do is I pull them apart. And then I glue it all together. When it dries, I'll paint it. So let me do that, let me assemble the engine, get everything nice and neat on this, and then I'll start painting. Okay guys. Okay guys, I haven't got the engine, but I just thought of this, sorry about this. Um, to cut, um, to cut these off the trees, I either take my hobby knife and put it up against this protector I got here to not mess up anything. And I'll just push it down really hard until it pops. But you could also use, um, like pliers, you know. This is like reversible. Pretty cool. I like them. And then when you get them, you know, you know, just clip them off. Uh, I usually, when I'm building jokers, I'll just twist them off. It really don't matter. But if you want to build a nice one, I can understand. Uh, I'll get my hobby knife. Still got glue on it from the other build I just did. And just take it and just go up like that. And it's clean. And uh, that's, that's how I get my parts off the trees and just, you know... Just like that. Alright guys. I'll have the engine assembled next time I come back. Okay, I'm back. And I lowered it some so it might look a little bit better. Alright. So. Let's get it over. There we go. Um, Got the motor assembled. This is usually how I paint motors. Supposed to be aluminum, so uh, this should be aluminum. If, no, it's not in it. All right, 
Alright, um, so this is Silver Agent, aka Aluminum, or at least what I use. Um, ones like this, you can shake up real good, you can hear it, not all of them are like that. Um, paint brushes, I have a whole bunch of them, right here, just a little um, for this, I would probably use this one right here. Really, don't matter what you use. Um, it's just for my preference, you know. Alright. So, just get the end of it. And then, you know, you really don't want to get the spots that you're going to uh, get glue on. Because then it won't stick good. Um, you know, you don't gotta rush through it, uh, cause if you rush, you're really gonna get, gonna mess up, there's gonna be streak marks in it and all that stuff. Sorry guys. Um, it's hard to paint like this, but... I uh, think in the next video, I'm going to play some, see I wasn't supposed to do that, but you know, uh, I'm going to play some music so it's not so quiet. I, I don't want to, uh, you know, use my TV in videos like this. Uh, yeah. Don't want to get too much up there either, because then it's going to run, and if you're, if you really want to get it done to see the finished product, um, you know, it's still gonna be wet. Sorry, I'm just trying to get in this corner. All right, see, and you can go back the other way, whichever way you really want it. Ha. Huh. Um. Sorry. All right, let me come over here. There we go. Um, trying to look at the camera at the same time too. So, I'm really tired. It's uh. 9.33 and I have to get up every morning at like 6, um, not 6, 5 to get ready for school and all that. So I really can't stay up that late but I usually do anyway. You know just nice strokes. A little bit more glue. You don't glue on um, paint. You don't need a lot. And I know the other parts, um, the bigger parts. I'm gonna just paint. I have a silver, silver spray paint, metallic silver spray paint, and it works good. It's really nice. But you know, I want to try to cover everything I can up here with y'all. And this video, this one's going to be pretty long. You don't have to watch the whole thing. I'm just making this for fun. I've had a lot of school work. Um, that's why I haven't been making videos much. School work. Mm -hmm. You know, stuff like this. Um, first part of the video, I said I was going to come back when all the parts were painted. I can't do that. I'm, like, too tired right now. Sorry, guys. Um, by tomorrow I might have a cymbeline with some glue, uh, and I'll explain to you about the glue and all that stuff, um, or my prefer preference is with glue. Um, yeah, I'll just come back when, when I got this whole thing painted, because this video is probably already like... Uh, 13 minutes long already so I'll be back okay so last part of this video I promise um got some music playing uh here's the other way that you can paint these are just uh I don't know uh, I don't know what they're called sorry um like you can put 
those sis kebab things, whatever you want to call them up here. I mean, it's a good way, sorry. I got the top part, the engine block painted. So I'm going to just go in here and, you know, paint the transmission. If you really wanted a detailed, detailed, detailed um, car, you can uh, just, you know, uh, take some Bondo, if you have any, and put them in the cracks and you sand it down. No big deal over that. Um, most of the time, this paint can cover it, but usually it won't. If it's thick enough, it will. Oh, keep thinking it's in the shot. Sorry, guys. Um, if there's topics you want me to talk about, um, uh, just leave it in the comments because I don't know what to really talk about other than keep saying sorry because the thing's not in the shot. I don't know. Uh, first time doing something like this. Uh, bear with me. Um, I've, I'm liking all the support I'm getting in my, you know, my subs are up. Uh, that's pretty cool. Uh, all the comments I'm getting keep coming in. I usually respond back. If not, it's because, um, it doesn't show up in my message, uh, when I go to my inbox. It won't show it, but if you go back to the video, it's there. And usually I'll catch ones like that. But, you know, I love comments. I love hearing what I can, you know, do better and stuff like that. Uh, you know, you miss some spots, go back and cover them up. No big deal. Um, yeah. So, you know, there's the other really good way to paint things that you don't want to get dirty from. You know, just like that. And if I miss a spot when it dries, I'll go back and get it again tomorrow. But this is all I'm doing tonight. Um, that's actually going to be a gray that I have over here. Right, let me pick the camera. Because right. I have this whole set of them right here. So now I'm picking through them. Uh, my rigs all messed up here that I'm using. Um, yeah. And, you know, if you want it to stand up, just, you know, sit it up against something like lean or um, just uh, tape it to something. The biggie. Uh, I'll lean over here. Um, make sure you close these good. Let's see, you know, uh, just get a rag from over here. Always keep things handy with you when you're doing models. You never know when you we need them. Just got a whole bunch of like recycled rags, old t-shirts and all that stuff. Go for that. Um, thinner. I have some over here. Um, right. Yeah. Okay, guys. I'm gone. Have to. Too long of a video. Bye.